Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood pants is back with another summoners war video. Today I want to showcase a relatively new siege defense that's showing up in the global server. It's a new four star defense, and my favorite part about it is the fact that it's free to play. It uses Chami, Vigor, and Triana. So let's talk about how to build this defense. Here is my defense's current win rate, 6 and 10, which is nothing crazy, but by today's standards, it's actually pretty damn good. I used to think a 1 to 1 ratio would be my goal for every defense that I make. But nowadays, to get a 1 to 1 ratio is very difficult with the invention of Second Awaken Lulu and uh, Wendy. So 6 and 10, I'm pretty happy with. All right, so at first glance, you might think, well, this is kind of lucianable. But that's the whole point, is you make it not lucianable. So you want your monsters to be as tanky as possible. Now, Chami benefits from high HP and just being tanky in general because of her skill 3. You want her to be able to use this as much as possible so she gets as much free attack and defense that you don't need to find in your runes. And that way you can get a bunch of additional damage on her artifacts and she can hit relatively hard. Her damage output isn't insane by any means, but it can be pretty good, especially with Vigor's defense break. Um, Vigor, I have also incredibly tanky. Um, you for sure want all three on Violent. Endure isn't necessary. I think... You for sure want at least one destroy set because the whole point is for it to be a more grindy kind of match rather than a cleaving type of match. So anytime you have a defense that isn't trying to cleave, a uh, destroy set is really good. So here I did endure just because of the tankiness and speed. It just got me the stats that I wanted. Um, for vigor, also additional damage by HP. Um, skill 3 accuracy is really good. I have 18% on my skill 3 artifact here or my type artifact, I should say. So 34 plus 18, you know, it gets me to 52, right? Uh, add 20, it'd be 54 minus 2. Yeah, so 52% actually. Nothing crazy, but fairly good. And then Triana, also very tanky. I have another destroy set here. So I'm running two destroy sets. If you can get three, that's fantastic. Um, maybe you want to run energy runes. Maybe you want to run guard runes. I don't think will is particularly important in this case. It's more important to have destroy. Um, you could do a shield set to uh, help you with your tankiness for people that might attempt to cleave this. Because cleaves will work if you aren't tanky enough. And we'll showcase that in a bit. As far as speed tuning goes, I'll bring that up here. So base speed of Chami is 102. Base speed of Vigor is 115. And the base speed of Triana is 113. I recommend getting them to the 239 breakpoint if possible. If you don't know about speed breakpoints, I've made a video breaking that down and it explains it all in detail. And you can for sure just check that one out if you uh, don't know about these. Um, but anyways, that means you need plus 121 on your runes from Chami to reach that. Plus 107 to get to 240. You want Vigor to be a little bit faster than Chami. I say a little bit as close in speed as possible, but still to go before her. Because that way he can set up the defense break for her to take advantage of. So if you have them one speed apart from one another, it's highly unlikely that you'll ever get cut in between. Um, so I've hit some defenses where the Vigor defense breaks, but then my Lulu goes and, you know, cleanses the defense break. And so Chami can't take advantage. And then Triana with 113 base, um, 109 to get to 239. So she'll move last on the team, which is fine to do any, uh, cleansing that, you know, she might need to do. So that's the speed tuning. Just make as tanky as possible. Damage reduction from wind for the Lucians, damage reduction from fire for the dozers, crit damage received for everyone else, damage reduction from water, just as much damage reduction as you can on Triana. I'll make myself a little smaller there. Over here, uh, this is not particularly good. I think I did it just for the crit damage received minus. Um, I've been farming artifacts like mad because my artifacts suck. So I've been mostly farming the attribute lately rather than the type. I'll get into the type later and uh, hopefully get some better stuff here. But anything to reduce the damage. Skill 2 recovery is pretty solid on Triana. Skill 1 accuracy is pretty solid, but of course not necessary. All right, so this is one of my guildmates' vigors. It's, you know, a lot faster than mine, but minus 10k HP. So the advantage of this would be to potentially outspeed someone who's trying to cleave, and that way you get the anti-crit buff up and potentially screw them over. If you're running Copper Amnesty Dozer and you happen to not move your fastest swift set onto Amnesty, this Vigor could easily outspeed. And Copper doesn't one-shot the Triana, that's going to be a problem because you're going to have to wait until you can cycle turns to do it again. Anyways, now that I've shown you the runes and talked up the defense, I'll uh, show you a bunch of offenses so you can never lose to it again. <laughs> 
All right, so here's the result of my testing with a bunch of different offenses against my own defense and some of my guildies. And you can see um, I do have some 100%. Some I've tested a lot more than others, uh, particularly Copper Dozer, because I was just kind of surprised how well it worked. And then also lots of Lucian. The thing about Lucian, specifically with Mirne, is uh, don't let the win rate fool you because that deep, that offense can win 100% of the time if you have the damage. So the nine losses are losses where I didn't have the damage, and then the six wins are when I did have the damage. And you can even win when you don't have the damage if you happen to get lucky, they don't proc a bunch. If you see here, uh, six and zero oh against Speed Trap Vigor, and then two and nine against the Lucian Trap. So my own defense that's super tanky, I went two and nine against, which is nothing great, but I want 6-0 against the Speed Trap one with the 10k less HP Vigor. Just because it has a 47% win rate, a lot of that is skewed because I was hitting a defense that I knew I didn't have the damage for, um, in addition to hitting a defense I knew I did have the damage for. Meanwhile, Dozer Copper Amnesty went 11-0 against the Lucian Trap. I never lost against my own defense with that. Even after I, I got my <laughs> Triana tanky enough to not get one shot by the dozer and regardless i i still lost it's just surprisingly solid but yeah my triana was on uh, damage reduction from wind only and i sacrificed two percent damage reduction for wind for ten percent damage reduction from fire and uh that way you know maybe i can dodge someone's dozer i know certain people have significantly better copper dozer teams than i do I haven't really farmed Rage Runes. I got my one good Lucian set and haven't hit Necro since, really, except for like daily challenge. But Copper Dozer, pretty solid. Sabrina Talia Harmonia, I went 10 0 against. Uh, I think I hit my own defense seven or eight times and then the other defense twice. And uh, yeah, it just seemed really solid. I will say there were scary times, and I should add this disclaimer that <laughs> any one of these defenses, even if they say 100%, or off essence, I should say, even if they say 100%, can absolutely fail. Um, every defense can be ruined differently. The way you ruin your offense can be differently. I'll show you all the runes of mine, but, you know, they vary. If you're hitting someone with superior rune quality than you, and they finally proc even once, it can be detrimental. So just because something has a 100% win rate, win rate for me, uh, doesn't mean it will for you. Kunai Vigor Lulu is probably the safest of these. Um, assuming you don't know the rune quality of the people you're hitting, I think it will win pretty much every time. The one loss I had was actually on stream. You could go and watch it. And it was uh, to an excessively proccing Triana. In addition to that, I was not doing the proper kill order. I kept going for Chami, and eventually I realized I can't be going for Chami. I need to switch targeting to Vigor. And if I was targeting Vigor the whole time, I think I would have won. Um, so the kill order for that should be Vigor first, then Chami, then Triana, if you're using the Kunai Vigor Lulu, not the uh, not the Chami first. And you can see I had the kill order there, kill Vigor, then Triana. Oh, kill Vigor, then Triana, then Chami, excuse me. Yeah, the Chami with the healers is an issue, if I recall correctly. Malite Vigor Lulu, one and one, that's my own testing. I just didn't want to keep testing. The thing about <laughs> Kunai is that it takes forever. It takes so long and so... The time it took me to make this video was just way too long. <laughs> so that's why. And if you're looking for a quicker when Yen, Lauren, Alusia is really good, shout out to Flexo who suggested that to me. Um, I think he's in the Satanist Guild. He was in the Satanist Guild with uh, Aces and those guys. I think he might be in a different guild now. But anyways, Flexo suggested uh, Lauren, Alusia plus one. And that has worked really, really well for me. I did lose once to... Um, it was actually the very first attempt. The Triana slept my Lucia and just kept sleeping him. So my Lucia never got to take a turn. She was just like pulled a Hathor on me and my Lucia never woke up, which should be, you know, not happening very often to anyone, but it happened to me in that test. I think the plus one is certainly variable. I used Yen and I used Lucas. The whole thing is you uh, want a heavy hitting damage doer that won't get targeted by Vigor. Because if they get targeted by Vigor, then they'll get defense broken. And Chami will also target them and they can die pretty easily. Also, make sure that you have Will on them. So, Will on the Lauren as well. Because she's light. So, like, the Lucas, Lauren, and Lucia I don't think is as safe as the Yen. Because 
Yen for sure won't get targeted by Vigor, whereas Lucas could potentially get targeted. So it's just one of those things is use a plus one that won't get targeted by Vigor ideally, but will also deal significant damage. I tried different Tractor Lulu teams. Tractor Wendy Lulu, I tried once, it took forever and I lost, so I didn't want to try it anymore. <laughs> So I went to Tractor Lulu Emma. I figured when I was doing the Wendy Lulu uh, version, I didn't have enough damage. And so whenever I realized I didn't have enough damage, I figured let's give Tractor a defense buff so he's hitting a lot harder. And I went 3-0 using that team. Tractor Lulu Fuku, Fuku is one that one of my guildies suggested. And uh, a handful of us have used that and it's worked well for all of us. So in my testing, it also went 3-0. Um, but that's all of the teams, and uh, yeah, <laughs> good luck against the, the defense. Try building it yourself. I will say it requires pretty high rune quality in order to perform well. Um, despite that, it's pretty freaking good defense. So if you have no other good defenses and you have uh, the runes for it, give it a shot. So that's that. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one.